Hey guys! Do you want to go on a tropical vacation? I know that I really need one, but because of the pandemic, none of us can travel. So the next best thing is to have a drink that makes you feel transported to a tropical destination. That's why this week we're going to be making a painkiller. From Durham, North Carolina, you're watching Cocktails Under Quarantine. I'm Suzanne, and this week we're going to be making a painkiller. One of our beloved viewers requested this drink, and we really try our hardest to honor viewer requests. So let's get started. The painkiller is kind of like a pina colada, and it's this really lovely, tasty, full of flavor, pretty strong tropical drink. Um, okay, so we're going to get started with an ounce of orange juice, and David got me these super adorable beakers, and I used to work in a lab. I did my graduate work in a lab, and I'm just a sucker for cute glassware. Um, next, we're gonna add an ounce of coconut milk syrup. Ooh, it's so viscous. Um, so all this is, it's real easy to make. You just take coconut milk and put it on the stove, with um, one part coconut milk to two parts white sugar and just heat it on up until it dissolves and then strain it and you've got this um, tasty coconutty syrup that you can use and it's better than using coconut cream that's got a lot of gross preservatives. Okay and then we're gonna add four ounces of pineapple juice because you can't have a tropical taste and drink without some pineapple juice. All right, four ounces in it goes. And then we're gonna add our booze. We're gonna add three ounces of Plantation Five Year Rum. It's a really tasty, pretty inexpensive rum. I really dig it. I'm splashing all over the place. All right. Add it all to our tin, and then we're gonna add our cubed ice. And bang it, because that's how we roll. All right, that's enough cubed ice. And we'll give it a nice little shake for about 15 seconds. All right, and then let's get moving. We're gonna add this to our Collins glass. And we're gonna um, fill our Collins glass with um, crushed ice. Okay, so just fill fill it on up. That's good. All right, and then we're gonna strain it onto our drink. Okay, and then the garnish for this is freshly grated nutmeg, which is really, really delicious, and just adds this. Um, oh, just really great flavor profile. Just add a little bit of, ooh, I can smell it already. Oh, it just adds a certain, just extra oomph and interest to this drink. And then, figure we make it pretty, we'll add some pineapple fronds, because that helps it feel a little bit more tropical. Just put them in there. There we go. And there you have it, friends, the painkiller. Mm. So good. It's sweet. It's got the coconut. It's got the rum, the three ounces of rum. You can definitely taste it in there. It's got the coconut. Just feels like a tropical vacation. So if you're like me and you, you want to get out, but you can't, make this drink and you'll at least feel like you're on vacation. That's all we have for this week, folks. Remember, we are on YouTube. We'd love it if you subscribed and liked our videos. And we're also on Facebook. So we hope to see you in multiple places online. And as always, stay safe and drink responsibly. I love it. Tiki, it's one of my favorites. I just, I love rum. I love all the flavor. I love the festiveness. What tiki drinks do you guys like? Let me know. Let's talk about it online. You know, we can put your favorites, your requests into the production calendar. Guys, these are actually pretty sharp. I don't want to hear about any eye-related injuries from garnishes, so drink with caution. It's a... Uh...
little discussed hazard of drinking tiki cocktails. <laughs>